Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We've stumbled upon a couple of elves that seem to be in a bit of a pickle. And I can't interact with these guys, so let's... Okay. There seems to be a lot more... Yep, there we go. A lot more going on than before. Pass. What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Hmm. Why the lockdown? Why have you shut the city gates? So as we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Well, this could be an effect of me uh, smuggling out Albert Vagel, bud. But right now we don't have a pass. Sorry. Don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Yes. Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm. Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we're. Not your concern. Back to your post. Okay then. I do not know you. Regards from Siggy Reuven. Okay. Which is of So that helps, because, uh. I wanted to do the a dangerous game quest today, in which we're uh, going to track down three specific Gwen cards for Zoltan, since he's in a bit of a debt. So in this house, there should be someone that can sell us those cards. So let's knock. Knocked. It looks like Zed's inside. And in hot water. And in kind of hot water. In. So we need to find another way inside this house. Um. Oh, well, let's uh, take a look around. We might be able to get around to the other side. So there doesn't seem to be a way through Hufford Grove as I thought there would be. Maybe I should think outside the box here. Can I blow open his door? Nope. Can't get on the roof either. Oh, there is a ladder over there. Be able to get up here and then take this ladder to get on top of the roof. And okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, and there's another door here. Hello. Search his home. Okay, the guy seems to be dead. Must be Zed. Or Zed. Um. Is there anything else we can find? There seems to be a few letters on the ground here. Can't really interact with those. A few cards on the table. Uh, maybe something downstairs then. The last wish. He's a fan of the Witcher books. Okay. Find it? No. Hello. The will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Hello. Oh, fuck. Come on, Lingo. Time to shine. Get him! Hello. And there they go again. They're jolly like that. Synchronized dancing. And synchronized getting cut in half. Okay. Chicken leg. The Isengrim card, so that's one already. Will Tiana from the square tail deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. And we have another key as well. Hey, we're 
were looking for something. They were looking for something. Yeah, I get it, Gerald. They were looking for something. Okay, never mind. So there seems to be a scratch mark down Mother here. Zed had an ornery cat, where there's a hidden compartment under there. Under there? Oh. Well, it kind of got blown away already. Be probably because I used art when I was outside that affected this thing. Um, do I need to do that again? Just to... Uh, <laughs> okay. I needed to do art just to... Uh, Make it accessible. Ledger of income and outlays. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. I might even have a look at this. So, five people. Fabian Olivier, Duke, Ravik, Caesar Bilzen has the Frangilla Vigo card. So, uh, that's something. Might get uh, Zoltan to tell us where that guy might be. So let's head back to the Rosemary in time and see what Zoltan has to say. I hope I don't accidentally trigger uh, Priscilla and Dandelion's quest as well. Because we're still outside, Zoltan. Zoltan. Get out. Let's play Gwent. We could do that, but about those cards. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. Zed's ran dead. Into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? So, uh, there's one guy that's in the ledger, but... Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Sides, I'm certain he snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Okay. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. You joining? So, uh, let's talk. Who's Caesar Bilzin? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. True. And Ravi? Ravi? Who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Okay. We'll try and get you those cards. Same as the Isengrim card. Seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. Ooh, pretty. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Thanks, Sultan. We'll do our best. And the weather has cleared up a bit. Look at that. Um, so we're gonna go to Ravik first, since we don't need Sultan for that. Uh, it's gonna make it easier to finish up, Something I think, stinks. as well. Decomposing flesh. Human flesh. That's a whore, not a... It's just... Gerald! She's not decomposing. Game of beggars, henchmen. So yeah, see you in a second. So, at the Golden Sturgeon, look at that. Let's go uh, beat up Ravik. Where is he? Seems to be lower than where we are, so let's go towards the basement. And it looks like they're already playing a game. How about that? It's the flea ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. 
Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Okay. Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Oh, yeah, Our it's that. Our friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Uh, Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Okay, then. Sound good? <laughs> See? Rav is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natali's car. Fancy that? Yeah, I fancy that. So, uh, this might be one of those times that I'm gonna keep the Gwent match in, since people have been asking that. So, for our first live Gwent match, here we go. With a bit of high stakes, a man's Agreed. life. <laughs> I'm here, I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play! I did receive a few cards based on, um, well, from the previous quest, so I think I'm gonna add Dandelion to the deck as well. Um, Dandelion allows, yeah, doubles the strength of all unit cards in that row without the use of a commander's horn. So let's add Dandelion to the deck as well. And that's about my. Uh, my deck. I'm gonna keep it like that. I've beaten those three guys in a matter of life and death. So, there we go. So Gwent is all about just having more strength cards than the opposite team. So your total strength must be higher than the opposite team. The strategy involved is more about um, keeping close eye on how many cards you have left because you need to win two rounds with those cards. I have a bit of an advantage. Mm, doesn't, don't look my cards right now, actually. That's better. Let's keep that. And the clear water is also something I'm gonna need, I think. But there we go. So I have an advantage. Uh, if I win a round, I get to draw another card. So that's handy on its own. So I usually start off with these guys if I have them. These double each other when there's more on the field. And I have two, so uh, let's go for it. So there we go. They double each other, so we're at 16 right now. And Ravi, no it's not Ravi, it's that creepy guy is at 9 right now, so we're a bit ahead. And then it starts to be, well, interesting, since we're gonna try and beat him in the first round, so we have a bit more leeway in the other rounds. And therefore we need to be stronger than him. But it doesn't look like he's that strong of an opponent, so I'm gonna use Philippa Alhart. She's a hero card, and hero cards are not affected by any kind of power or uh, other, well, effect. That's a spy card. And spy cards are placed on your opponent's side of the board, but allow you to draw two more cards. So as you can see, right here on the left, he has eight cards left, and I only have six cards left. Um, I'm gonna put... Vesemir on the board as well. I think I'm gonna pass after that. Okay, there's another spy. That should allow me to win this round. So I'm gonna pass. There we go. And the cool thing about those spy cards is that they come to my graveyard. So I, the opponent has passed as well, so I win that round. And as I've said, I get another card for my trouble. Now, the interesting thing about those spy cards is that they go to your disposable stack, as you would call it. So both of those spies are here, so if I want to revive one, which I can with this guy, or woman, 
the Dun Banner Medic, I can revive one card. Now, normally you would pick one of your own cards, but since those spies are in here as well, I might as well put those on the board. Because they give me another two cards. And uh, as you might have seen, I also get my own spy here. So if I put that on the board, we're at equal footing with the number of cards. So the Torrential Rain can be a bit of a bitch, but uh, we're not over yet. I'm going to start putting units on the field, because I think I might be able to uh, win this just as it stands. So there we go. I'm going to put Vernon Roach on the field as well. Another hero card, so not affected by abilities both positive or negative. So there we go, Impenetrable Fog trying to uh, diminish my units. I'm still at 12, so he's not uh, better than me in any way. Uh, I do have a clear weather card, which allows me to remove the effects of those cards over here. So the fog and the rain. I do that first. Clear that out. We're in the advantage again. And then we're gonna add another another few siege machines. Since we still have three siege cards with a strength of six. And there we go. They might double. No. Well they would be of the same kind over there, but let's just keep that going and see what the opponent comes up with. Shouldn't be too much trouble, I think. Because we still have that Biting Frost over here. I'm going to show you what that does in a second. Because that allows me, so he only has one card left. That's the one weather effect that you haven't seen. All the foot soldiers are diminished to a strength of one. Except for Roach, because he's a hero card. And there's another clear weather, that was his last card. So that's nothing to worry about. We're, we've already won. Opponent has passed, but uh, I might want to show you my leader card. My leader card doubles the strength of all siege cards, so that's uh, a nice round number. And then we add our last card, and we won! That wasn't too hard. And now we're gonna see if we've actually saved Ravi's life with that. Yep, you lost. Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate. And sit still, or you hurt yourself. Curb your enthusiasm. But he won! So, now we'll play something else. Nope. Okay, little man, let's roll. Not much space to work with, but I have fire in my hands, though. Goodbye, Earl. Thanks. Don't know how I'll repay you. Well, the card is enough. This card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might... No, 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 that's not gonna work. I'm in a hurry. And I saved your life. The Natalis card, of course, here. Why do you still have it? I thought he already had the card. I think that was a bit of a mistake now, wasn't it? Did they carry anything of interest? Uh, maybe that magic item. And a dried fish. Always need more dried fish. They are yummy. So, let's go back to Zoltan and uh, meet up with Caesar Bilzen. See you in a second. Caesar Bilzen indeed has a fucking ugly house with that golden facade, but hi Zoltan. Ah, uh, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Um, Got the Natalis card. Not. Excellent. Now we've just Caesar Bilzen to fleece, and we'll be home free. Awesome. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. 
certainly keeps the camp here. Ah, okay then. Um, can't you just buy it? Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Said Caesar never sell for Angela. <laughs> Don't you worry. It's funny how they both won't lose out have their the arms crossed. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. <laughs> I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also, why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. <laughs> okay then. Anything else in the cabinet that's worth our, ta our time? So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. Hmm, sounds I interesting. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. I'm gonna rob the fuck out of this guy. Hello, Caesar. Caesar Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. Uh, well, but I'm gonna talk yeah. fish. <laughs> I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's Interesting. Oh, him. oh, that's that's Geralt. Does say Geralt. Fish? Uh, yes? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the ponta! You betcha! <laughs> Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! <laughs> so what the zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shit. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, recently? I, I took this thyme. Get out. Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? Um. Recently is not a word. <laughs> Happen to like Xander? Happen to like Xander. God, you're a witcher! What do you shove in them potions? Shit's a delicacy to use. <laughs> a witcher? Never yeah, was dumbass. Well then, did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Porter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life beat. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager, don't know why. Once dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would I eaten it myself? Well, not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Care Morehead? Um, didn't I need to steal something? <laughs> bombs, yes, bombs. Bombs. How's that? <laughs> Both and had many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Yes, it was. Else, go fetch us another bottle. Okay, I will. Right. Right. You can see the bottom of this one. So let's go so, check the upstairs. Okay, so we're upstairs. I'm gonna need to open his cabinet of curiosities. There's something over here. A knife. It looks like it's attached to the tabletop. What? Drawers oh. open. Hmm. Let's loot. Triangular key. And pure silver, don't mind if I do. Um, I'm gonna have to bring the bottle as well, so wait. Uh, so let's take the Dwarven Spirit with us. So we know... Well, we don't come down empty-handed. It's not this. It's not this either. Wait, what? Is there a door here? Triangular hole in the wall. Oh, there. Interesting. 
Use the key. Fits perfectly. Oh. Secret door behind the bookcase. Classic. Awesome. So yeah, hiding the top floor. Which isn't really hiding though, is it? Wow. Mathieu de Rideau's dagger. I would be able to steal everything, probably. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Okay then. A set of Aranahid's necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. Oh my god. This is a... Uh... Joachim de Ved's skull. Hmm. Pretty grim curiosity. Interesting, no? Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. A painting of Amir? Amir. Temper on wood. So he seems like an Guardian uh, sympathizer. But this is probably what we're here for. Jade figurine. Tatuette of a man. Wasn't carved but produced huh. using magic. But I asked Triss about it. Another compacted guy? We might have to ask Triss about that one. Ooh, the Fringilla Vigo card. Uh. Here's Fringilla. Let's get back downstairs without uh, alerting anyone. Hopefully they're still talking about fish. Um, maybe. Can I close that again? Because it seems awfully conspicuous that... Nope. Okay. Never mind. Wanted to be Turo, but I can't. I got the Dwarven Spirit. Sultan, time we were on our way. Ah, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? I have it. Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can... Discrepancies. Too late. Grab him. And you two get lost. Um no. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, up to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? Well, um I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh wait, what get out your sword, Gerald. The correct one, thank you. This one seems stuck. There we go. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh, I could have stolen a bit. Oh. Oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Of course oh, I have. I. Splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Okay. Took a look at Caesar's collection. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nuff Guardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vet's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit. Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. Seriously? No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. That's next Chris episode. Ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. Okay. We have all the cards. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? Okay then, this keeps going. Don't know much about him, but he's of Duke Silk. No doubt about that. Hmm. You know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone, as long as they pay. Okay, Sultan. In here? 
can't wait to get the king of beggars out of my beard. Sorry to cut him off like that, but I needed to make a quick save. That ah, doesn't look so good. I fear the body is gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. Um, I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Do we gonna get a sword through your spine? <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to Still work, doable. Boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. Okay, Zoltan. With pleasure. No, get inside. Yeah, thank you. Chase Duke. Well, if Geralt would stop trying to fight everybody. There we go. Slowly walking towards the next ladder. There's no hurry in this, is there? Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna pop a quick Quen, because uh, I think we're gonna need that. Oh, get over here, you dumbass. How the hell did he get up that ladder so fast? There we go. Hello, Duke. Don't fall off now. Where the hell? Is he... Oh, he went down. Sorry, I'm a bit confused. And down, down, down we go, gently down the ladders. Krishna guy who has our coin. Are we gonna stab to death? There we go. Oh, there's oh, Jesus Christ, how many ladders are there? Even more! Seriously? Let's take a, a longer detour. And drowners! Wow, he lost his head. No, fuck you. I'm not doing this. How the hell did that guy go through all those drowners? Hello? Who's just standing here? Ah, uh, okay. Answering that question? You could use a witcher. Highly <laughs> amusing. Very amusing. If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Um, no. No. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get him? Yeah, get I coin? killed his predecessor, yes. so I'm gonna and kill him too. Finish him off? Yep. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Well, I do want to have those cards, as I do I'm like Gwent. I'm curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Sultan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. Please, the sun, no wrong game. So, that's a dangerous game. Uh, so we're gonna take a little break, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like this video right here on YouTube. It has been a bit of a longer video, hope you don't mind. Uh, it was a bit of uh, well, a big quest. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or screen. Stream, stream, not screen, video or stream. Goodbye!